Hey guys, Tina here with songwriting snippet number 12. So today I wanted to get into talking about lyrics, um, which is super fun and I love to write lyrics and I hope that this will help you to not be scared if you are scared at all about writing lyrics and give you some tools to help you um, to see how you can tackle this um, in your own writing. Alright, so when we talk about um, lyric writing, we have to talk about pop song form and the fact that um, there are just rules that pop songs um, that they follow. And that can be any genre, I don't just mean like one type of music, but really anything you hear on the radio, there's generally going to be some rules that they're following. And so just keep in mind that with rules, we're just talking about things that you typically see, and, uh, and you can break those rules. You have the creative freedom to do that as the writer. Just make sure that if you break the rules that you're doing it in an intentional way that's going to best serve the song. Um, okay, so let's get into talking about verses and, uh, and how lyrics fit into the verse section of a song. So when we talk about verses, lyrically, um, that is the part of the song where you're going to see new information and where you're going to have details and imagery, okay? So by new information, what I mean is each time you have a verse, so you have a verse one, a verse two, a verse three, possibly more verses, each verse is going to present new information. It's not going to be the same every time it comes around. Uh, contrast that to a chorus where you have uh, the same lyric happening each time that it comes around, right? It's going to repeat that same lyric. Well, the verse doesn't do that. The verse brings in new information each time. Um, now, if there isn't a chorus in the song, possibly the title might be a line that's repeated in each verse, in every verse. Um, so that might be an exception, something like that. But generally speaking, your verse is going to be the part of the song that tells the story um, through information and that that information is progressing and changing from verse to verse. And so because this is where the information is, um, this is going to be where the details and the imagery are in the song. And by details and imagery, I just mean anything that paints a picture in someone's mind. Um, you know, imagery, you could talk about the color of something, the time of day, the place. Um, those kind of details are going to fit into the verse section of the song, okay? Um, so a song that came to my mind when I was thinking about all this was um, Mirrorball by Elbow. And I just love the opening line of the song. It says, I plant a kind of kiss that couldn't wake a baby on the self-same face that wouldn't let me sleep. And I just love that, um, how it just pulls you in by painting this vivid picture that you can see clearly in your own mind of someone kissing someone. And I see them as just kissing them on the cheek as they're getting up out of bed. And so he's put that image in your mind of someone kissing someone, but now he gives you even more information saying what kind of a kiss it was, right? So it's the kind of kiss that wouldn't wake a baby. So now it's just this gentle, intimate moment that we're seeing, right? And then he adds even more to it by saying, on the self-same face that wouldn't let me sleep. So he's really pulling you into this relationship and showing you something about the affection and really the love um, that, he, that he wants to communicate. Um, so it's very artistic and poetic in the way it does that. Um, but that's an example of the details and the imagery. Okay? So, um, so that's going to be the type of uh, lyric that's going to fit into the verse section of the song. Another thing about verses is that they're going to function as the unfamiliar part of the song, whereas the chorus, for example, would be a familiar part of the song. And that's because, like I said before, there's new information with each verse, right? So you have verse one, you introduce us to the story, and you have maybe a pre-chorus and a chorus. We go to the next verse, verse two, you're going to have more uh, new information. It's not going to repeat the same lyric again. Um, so that's the unfamiliar. The verse is the unfamiliar and the chorus would be the familiar. So you could also think of it as um, the verse would be like home away from home and the chorus is home. So that's why whenever we get back to the chorus it just feels good because it's like, oh I know this, I've been here before, right? But the verse, it keeps us engaged, it keeps pulling us back in because we want to see what happens next, hopefully. Um, so this is just a little introduction to uh, lyrics and how they function in the verse section of a song. And next time we'll get into another section uh, and how lyrics fit into um, like pre-choruses and choruses and all that. Um, but I have a, an, a writing exercise for you if you go to www.thenabeam.com 
and look for songwriting snippet number 12. Um, there's a guide that you can download and there's a few listening examples and I kind of walk you through um, how to look for that, um, the details and the imagery that you're going to be seeing in, the, in those song lyrics. So I hope this is helpful, hope this is um, encouraging you on your own songwriting journey and I hope you'll join me next time.